Okay, I'd like to introduce you to a piece of software I use called Repurpose. If you'll notice up here in the upper left hand corner that it is available uh, right now as a beta version, uh, which tells me that it's probably going to get better. I really, really like the way the software works now, so uh, improvements on this or expansion of it is just going to be amazing. Let me show you how it works. Uh, if you'll notice here, I have several different workflows listed, and I will talk about those in just a minute. But I'm going to walk you through the, the creating a workflow prop purpose, creating a repurpose workflow right now. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to call this test project, okay? And uh, this is where you select your input. And I can select it from Facebook Live videos or from other videos that I've hosted on Facebook. Uh, so this is primarily this is done exclusively from videos that, are on, that that originated on Facebook. Okay, that's the first thing to remember. Uh, maybe the the future versions will include other things, but right now it's Facebook Live videos, which I started doing Facebook Live, and I've now done somewhere between three and four hundred live feed videos, and so uh, I needed a way to be able to take that content and do something with it, categorize it, put it in Facebook, put it in YouTube, put it in wherever I wanted it to go. So this software became a huge benefit to me. So we're going to take this from my personal, uh, as it's gathering my personal information right now and giving me the option of being able to take just the videos from my personal profile, take them from a group, or take them from a page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a group right now. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because they're smaller. Okay, So we'll take the community impact group right here and then I will do this. Let's make the video go faster. I have two options. I can upload and convert to vid video to audio, or I can upload the, the whole video. Uh, do one or the other of those. Now, if I'm going to upload it to YouTube, I want to upload the, the video. If I'm going to upload it to um, uh, to a Dropbox or to a Google Drive file, then I'm just going to do it. Uh, maybe just the audio that I can use for a podcast. So I have the option of being able to do both of those. Uh, and then I also have a podcasting software. Uh, my podcatcher is uh, BeanPod, and BeanPod allows you to do video uh, instead of video, uh, instead of audio. Um, so you have the ability to be able to do that. But I really want my, my podcast most of the time to be something that people are going to download and listen to in their car without having to play the video. So um, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to just upload the video, and I'll show you why in just a second. And so the next action is to pick the output place, and I can send that to my YouTube channel. I can send it to my Facebook account, <clears throat> which there's not really a reason for me to do that because that's where I'm going to get it from. But um, I, I have the option of sending it to these four different places right now. I can uh, also put it in Dropbox, which is what we're going to do in this particular case. And I could pick a folder here from my Dropbox folders, or I can create a folder. And in this case, we're just going to call this test project. And we're going to create a folder. And it tells me that that folder has been successfully created. And now I'm going to create the workflow. And when you go over here to the test project, you'll notice it's listed down here. I can click on view the videos, and there they are. It's already pulled those videos, and it's brought those over so that I have access to them, and I can do with them what I choose to do. Let me back up one step because I want to show you another important part of this process. If I want to use these videos, and I want to, I want to take those that I'm going to put in my podcaster, and I'm going to put them in as a video, then I'm going to put a special hashtag on those. And uh, I'm only going to import those videos that have that hashtag. And I'm going to use the hashtag vidcast. Okay? And I'm only going to import those that have vidcast. And I can save that. Okay, if I'm going to auto-publish, I can save that. Then what would happen, I can turn this auto-publish on, and any video that's marked vidcast will automatically be pulled in and put in that Dropbox folder. So that's the first thing. I think that's huge. I think that's very beneficial. But you also notice in the settings here that on when I'm taking them from Facebook and putting them on YouTube, which are some softwares that can do that today. Um, I, I, I love being able to go live from my phone. Uh, Ecamm requires that you use your, your, your desktop 
or your your laptop or your desktop software, um, several other places. But I, I prefer to go live inside of Facebook and not use those other things. But that's personal preference. But I could I could pull in those videos that contain a specific hashtag, import all the video, what whatever I want to do there. But here's the 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 big thing is you have the ability to be able to do. You can put something in here uh, that's going to be your call to action text. You can put a call to action link inside of your um, your account uh, on YouTube and so you can also put keywords down here you can make that a public video or private video or an unlisted video whichever works best for you um, my whole purpose for posting these is to make them public because I want to take advantage of these keywords and I want to be able to uh, get some SEO juice from that so that's what I'm going to do with that now that gives me the ability to be able to do whatever I want to do here I can take I can auto publish this if I want to I can auto publish it from a different date or whatever or I can put them in slowly um, and what I have done here is I have slowly moved them over because I had almost 200 that I was moving so I'm gonna move I'm gonna take a look at these videos give it a second to load because there's lots of videos in that channel and here we go. Now, this was a video that was just cut this morning. This was one that was cut uh, yesterday. I haven't published it yet because I had a bunch that I was publishing. And I'm going through the process of, of loading these up to YouTube. I don't want YouTube to think that I'm slamming it with videos. And so we're doing it a little slowly and, and doing that. But this gives me the ability to be able to repu repurpose and publish this on multiple channels. Now, the reason why I use... Uh, pot, the podcaster that I use is because the reason why I use the podcaster that I do is because it allows me to be able to publish a new episode from I can I can do it from Dropbox here like this or I can go over here and I can grab uh, an app that will allow me to publish from my files from Dropbox. And you just click on here, it opens up the app, takes you to the place where you can import those those folders, okay? So I can import files from, from Dropbox inside of my podcaster, and I can do that automatically, or I can do that one at a time, whichever I want to do. Uh, so that's the reason why I use that software. It just takes a lot, it automates a lot of those steps for you in the process. Great piece of software called Repurpose. And I think it's only going to get better. Uh, it, it allows you to be able to m multiply your message across different platforms and different channels. And I love it. If you're interested in the software, there's a link in the, in the uh, comments below.